Hey YouTube, this is Reluctant Nabi back again. Uh, first off, I would like to do my greeting, say, Oi to the vein. Vas is low, bonjour mes amis. Kedu, bawani, konnichiwa, ni hao, ni hama. Sani bonani, and jambo habari gani. I and to the rest of y'all, hey, what's up? Um, even to the ignorant ones that's probably going to watch this video. Anyway, this one, um, I told some um, a viewer, I presented a case for this. And so I'm re, uh, I'm putting this information back out here so that um, a lot of you would, um, would see it. This was um, part of an earlier video. But this is going to be a conglomeration of a few videos so that y'all will understand the point. All right. And basically it's this, that a marriage license enslaves men. All right. And this is a warning to black men not to marry a black woman. Period. Don't do it. 70% of black women will divorce you within three to five years. Some people will make it to 10 years. All right. It's what they'll do to you after they divorce you. Now, when you enter into an unholy alliance, expect for unholy things to happen when that alliance breaks down. This is what I mean. A marriage license is a legal document provided from the state that is a contract between the man in the state and the woman in the state. A lot of people that are spiritual and scriptural, especially white people that get um, really get into it and understand the Constitution and state laws, understand that the marriage license is a binding contract between a man in the state and a woman in the state, which is my, why everything that must be done when you do things that way must be done through the state, meaning the judge determines whether you're married or not, not the preacher, all right? And then you have to go before the judge to get a divorce. Biblically, um, it's a lot simple. It's like, hey, boo, um, I want you. Um, I build a house. Hey, let's have at it. You go make some children. If the woman act a fool, you just send her back to her father with a note. The note frees her to be with another man. Um, where does the children go? The children stay with the father. Right? It's because the woman is supposed to be free to be with another man. Um, the only time that you don't have to write a note is if you catch her into all kind of whoredom and stuff like that, then she's no good for any man. So you just, um, put her away. And that's where the term put her away comes from. All right. So there's divorce and then there's just putting um, someone out of the house. All right. You put her away. All right. And then if any man gets with that woman that is put away, he commits adultery because you didn't divorce her. You just put her away. So there's a difference biblically in putting a woman away and divorce. And a woman has to be really, really ugly like most black women are today um, to be put away. But the righteous thing is to hand, hand her a divorce, then you free her up. Okay, so engagement rings are another scam by the beers. All right, and so black, basically the black woman want the engagement ring is because this is what the white woman gets. Back in the day, we just jumped the broom, called it a day, but by the moon, by the bang, that was the end of it. And then we stayed together longer. I put that statistics up from 1890 to 1960. Um, eighty percent of black household had um eighty percent of children grew up in two parent household. That's flipped now. Eighty percent of children don't grow up in two parent household. All right, diamonds are worthless, full of exploitation and death. All right, and there's all kind of bloods 
blood on the hands of people that promote diamonds. All right, they're not rare at all. All right. Given the statistics, a black woman is more likely to divorce a black man when she marries one. Period. Hands down. Why? Because it's all upside to her. A black woman could get into a relationship, act a fool, act, a, act like an hellion, because she knows she's getting half of that man's income, this, that, and the other, and the children, and he's going to pay child support. Matter of fact, most black women have it in their head to really kill a man financially and kill his life um, forever while she live it up with thugs and stuff like that. Case in point, you have Master P's wife, Sonia. Right. They got divorced. Apparently, Master P was a very good father. He was also a good husband, but that wasn't good enough for her because she was she wanted to live and be wild off of Master P's money and his fame. Now, she was there with him, but she just got out of hand. And I want you to see this next video so that you can see what I mean. All right. We're going to be dealing with Master P, Chris Rock, Diamonds, the whole kit and caboodle. All right, this stuff is unreal. This is what you get from a black woman, an Americanized black woman, a Europeanized black woman. You get somebody that's more hellious, hellious than any other race of woman to the black man. White women treat the black man better than a black woman. Other women treat the black man better than a black woman. All right. Tiger Woods get to see his children. He gets to be in the life of his children. They co-parent. Yeah, he, it took him getting hit with a club. But Master P, he gets taken through the ringer by the public, by the media, so much so that his daughter has to go and set the record straight. So listen to what his daughter has to say from out of her mouth. What's up, everyone? My name is Princess and Pop. I'm the daughter of Master P, also known as Nina, and Romeo is my brother. And I just want to comment what's been going on out there in TMZ, um, you know, wherever else, about my dad and my mom's situation. First of all, I'm really tired of people wanting to feel sorry for my mom and give her the benefit of the doubt. Um, she's not as perfect as she seems. Um, she's not perfect at all, and you want to say that she's hurting or whatever. No, she she's not hurting. What she's doing is just downright wrong. It's ignorance, and it's hurtful to her family. How can you sue your own son, grab your own son? I, I don't even know how anyone could ever want to do that. She hurts us, her kids. She calls me all kinds of bitches and sluts and names and even my little sisters and it hurts at the end of the day it really hurts us and it's, it affects us now that's hurtful what she's going through with my dad is like okay you've been going through this for a while get over it like there's nothing that's hurting you and my dad my dad still takes care of her we live in this beautiful home and behind a gated community she has a car she has all her bills paid for her i don't know what else what else what more she wants there's I really don't know what kind of man or what kind of people will continue providing for someone who's hurting them and bringing them down my dad is not a bad guy at all and that's what I want the world to know I really want them to know that my dad does his best to take care of us and he's always there for us when we need him the most no matter what sure he's busy he's busy out there working to provide for us who else is gonna do this please tell me but at the end of the day, when you really need him, he's there. He, he's not cursing you out saying, get out of his house or, you know, or you stole something of his. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Like, I'm not trying to bash my mom. But the thing is, is that she's not perfect. And I need the world to stop thinking that she is and to stop feeling sorry for her. Because she's hurting us, her family, her kids. 
She wants custody of my younger brothers, but when my dad brings them over, she tells them, oh, no, she doesn't want them right now. She's going out right now or whatever the case is. I don't understand. How do you want custody of them if you don't ever want to be with them? Please tell me. It doesn't make sense. So I just need everyone out there to know from another perspective. Um, I am the oldest daughter of them, and I do see between the two lines, I do, I do see both of them, you know, and none of them are bad guys. None of them are bad guys, but... Right now, in the situation that we're in, my mom is being a very bad mother. And that's all I can say. Very bad, and it's very hurtful to us. And, you know, what's sad is that I haven't seen her um, for about a week. It was her birthday the other day. I didn't even see her because she was too busy being out there with who knows who, her friends, her guy friends, whatever, partying. That's all she cares about, party, money, and guys. She doesn't care about us. But I haven't been, even been able to see her, so um, I guess on that note, I just want to say happy birthday, Mom. It's sad that I have to say that to you right now, but, you know, and I just need the world to know the truth, and I need you guys to understand that my dad is a great dad. And my mom, she was a good mom once upon a time, but right now she's not, and it's not okay to, to encourage her behavior or to feel sorry for her. She needs to sit down and have a talk with her family and get things right with us and stop being all about her friends and money and partying all the time. <sighs> well, isn't that special? There you have it, people. There you have it. All right. For all you ignorant, stupid, villainous black women coming to my channel trying to defend then this bull. Here it is, right up in your face. You have it. What you going? What you got to say now? All right. For all you ignorant simp's, you little pee hounds. All right. You fools and buffoons that defend these black women. And want to attack a black man for telling the truth? First of all, I'm stronger than all of y'all because I can think. See, while y'all bring your feelings that you got from your dang mammies, all right, and and not try to learn from some man. Even I understood, even being raised by a mother in an orphanage, I understood that um, I needed some teachings from some old men. So I hung out with some old men. I went to basic training, and I was able to make it through basic training easily back when they could put their hands on you, back when they called you all kind of name, because it didn't bother me because I was a man. Right? And even at a young age, I was growing to be growing into being a man. All right? I don't think like a woman. I don't think like a child. Um, I do child-like things. I ride skateboards. I play with the children in my neighborhood. But when I think in my conduct, um, handle my conduct, I handle my conduct as a man. All right? You have to be an ignorant fool of a man to come on my channel and try to defend this crap. The other thing is you got to be an ignorant fool of a man. To come on my channel and not watch the video before you make a comment defending these black so-called queens of the damn. Right. And you brothers, you're the damned and your queen has damned you. And like I put up the HIV and disease statistics that show you that it's only the black woman. I'm putting this up. I'm putting these. I'm going to keep these up. In the next couple of videos so that you can see that black women are responsible for the poverty. If you look at this, um, the upper right um, post test child poverty rates across family types 2000, you will understand one thing. That a single dad. A child is better with a single dad than. Any other situation where the woman is involved, with the exception of a couple, married couple. So that means single mom, that's the worst situation for a child. 
single mom with others like aunts, aunts, uncle. That's the second, I mean, not aunts and uncles, but aunts, grandmothers and stuff like that. You know how it is. A bunch of women in the house. That's the second worst situation. All right, cohabitating. This is um, um, boyfriend, not necessarily the child's father, but boyfriend. All right, that is the third um, third worst. Then it's single dads, and then the best situation is marriage. You see what I'm saying? And this is the U.S. So. Yes, I'll, I'm going to be clowning black women. And for those that want balance, there is no balance in the truth. There's just the truth and the rest of it is lies. When the, the thing is, black men do way better with children than black women. There's no balance there. Oh, write something evil about black men. I'm talking about evil black men all the time. The ones that follow black women. We call them simps. So, yes, we're talking about um, evil black men. We're talking about Pookie and Ray Ray. But guess what? They're in the minority, whereas bad black women are in the majority. So there is no balance. Bad black, bad and evil black women are the majority of the black female population, and bad and evil black men are the minority of the black male population. There is no balance. There is just the truth. So for you stupid, ignorant, whores, idiots, simps, and all the rest of that coming to my channel, how about you do this? Instead of um, making comments without watching a video, how about watch the video and then change your behavior? If black women change their behavior where this stuff isn't so bad, is um, stop being so bad that it is this public, all right, then maybe we might be able to say something good about a black woman. But until then, we can't say anything good about a black woman. All right, there's soul sisters, the sisters that got the back of good men, and then there's the black woman who are feminists. All right, so this is your feminist comeuppance. Um, I listened to a brother. I'm going to put his video up here for people to watch. Um, it needs a little more exposure. All right. And he gives the history um, through hip-hop and stuff like that, why hip-hop artists were calling black women B's and H's. And, and he breaks it down. And I'm going to put him up today, too. I just wanted to get this done because um, one of my subscribers wanted me to um, go back over the marriage thing. All right, this is what you get when you uh, marry a black woman and then she divorce you, which 70% will. So let's continue on with the rest of this. Um, and we're going to deal with these diamonds and why you don't need to get engagement rings, engagement rings and why it, you're doing a disservice to black people when you do that mess. Everything that you do that involves marriage is not biblical ungodly and evil on his head and um it it comes as a product of evil it produces evil like what happens when you want um all these engagement rings with all these big diamonds and stuff oh yeah black people are paying for that too let's move on now on youtube to con continue on with the um thing these diamonds that uh, these women are so excited about, um, they're responsible for a lot of murder and mayhem and death, especially in African countries like Sierra Leone, Angola, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and other conf um, countries, right? So as I talk, just um, take a read here, right? Uh, these diamonds and diamonds, period, fund most of the murder. Um, and whether they call them conflict diamonds or regular diamonds, uh, which white people determine whether something is a conflict diamond or not. But if it's a diamond, first of all, it's not rare. But second of all, it's, it is responsible for the exploitation of the continent of Africa 
and the conflict ones are um, responsible for all the wars that are going on and just keep in mind when you listen to people talk about this only one company owns all the diamond mines and that is the beers on um, the company that is responsible for putting the diamonds on the market the beers the company that holds back most of the diamond production um, so they can um, keep the cost of this particular stone elevated is the beers there is no worth in a diamond okay now this kimberly process that they mentioned down here i left it in the report um i left the link as to where you can get the report um and read up more about this the kimberly process that they speak of in this um report is garbage anything that is running run by white people to the big benefit of white people can't be good for black people and um there was one uh person interviewed they said if we would just make everybody democratic oh like that's worked for africa before so total garbage just actually actual total garbage and no man should buy a diamond to please any woman in the united states especially black men should not buy a diamond to please a black woman in the united states i can understand white people doing it because they ain't effing up bit where they come from but um black people doing it to take part in screwing up the continent that is quote unquote the motherland all you hotep females and hotep males out there talking about blinging with some ice all right and we so stupid as a people that a lot of people don't recognize that a diamond is worthless it is really worthless it's as worthless as the women asking you to buy them think about it. a lot of people spend money a lot of money on worthless women day by day all right and that's just how it is we spend a lot of money on worthless stuff and black men most black women are worthless we spend a lot of money on worthless black women and then the good ones you know we gotta look for the good ones and the good ones have to find us uh point blank because we're the ones not being chosen by any Mo there are a lot of single black men and it's bad when you can't tell the difference between a good black woman and a bad one so the good ones need to start sanctifying themselves separating themselves and diligently search searching to unite with good black men all right so let's continue all right everybody i want you to take a look at this picture this is chris rock and his wife the wife is taking him to the cleaners um and if there's any any indication of how he felt about being married to her um look at a movie called i think i love my wife and look at his stand-up and you'll start to understand that this woman was just something very harsh for him to live with all right and if you look at the portrayal of the wife in the movie i think i love my wife oh lord you will understand why this man filed for a divorce it must have been really difficult to go throughout all that time and trust me she is spiteful so she's showing her evil which we'll get to at the end of the show okay so people here are the divorce statistics for um in america for marriages all right keep in mind at the top first marriage 45 to 50 percent second marriage 60 to 70 67 percent third marriage 70 to 73 percent of these will end in divorce so on your first marriage you got a 50 50 chance that you will you will have six um you will have um, found a woman that you will be able to build success with all right second marriage okay you might want to shoot for it but that's the the rate of failure is too high for me to you know talk to a woman that has already been divorced or to marry a woman that's already been divorced 
all right, when we shouldn't marry at all. Remember, we take wives, we do not marry. The Bible says take a wife. We do not do a marriage license. We do not um, sell ourselves to the state or the government. All right. <laughs> now, what I failed to point out here, but I'm going to point out now, is this is only for white and Hispanic people. Is because black women are in a, they're in their own level. They're at their own level. They're in a class of their own when it comes to divorce. All right. Now. This is the um, topography um, of the divorce plateau. That's the study. And guess what the divorce rate with the, of the black woman is? Her, if the researchers found that 70% of black women's first marriage will end in divorce. 70%. We're talking about just divorce. 47% um, when you come and that is compared to 47% of white women. Right now, they list all these factors and stuff. Basically, the black woman thinks she, she got a big head and thinks she's God, which is why now she's crying because no black man wants her or wants to um, wants her as a wife. And no black man should want her as a wife, because at the end of the day, um, this is just plain old evil. Right now. We go. Let's move down to what Dr. Pamela Thompson of a a Atlanta says. She's an Atlanta psychologist that she also criticized black women for contributing to the problem. In recent years, there is a harshness to black womanhood. Now, she asked because her world is harder and stuff like that. But the black woman's world isn't harder. She's given everything by the state at the expense of a good man. All right. She is given education because she has a child. She gives, she's given education. She's given welfare she's given food she's given medicaid all right and as these are, are about to run out the state makes a double effort to make sure that these black women will get into college and be able to contribute right when black men go to college they're paying for it themselves they're working for it themselves they're not put there by the state all right. So when all these black women come out, oh, we we there are more women in college. Yes, that's because it's free for y'all and black men has to work. That's why there are more women in college than there are black any other. There are more black women in college than any other race or gender of people. And that's because they go for free, whereas everybody else, either their parents have to pay or they have to pay. All right. Now. If you want to use that age old, well, back in the day, we if things were a lot worse. No, it wasn't. Black families in 1890, 80% of African-American households were comprised of two parents. A hundred years later, it's one parent. In the 2000s, it's, it's one parent, the black woman. And she's done a bang up job that everything is going to hell in a handbasket in all communities where there is a lot of black single mother households there. Every last community in the United States. Watch the news. Pro um, we're proving it in this videos day after day after day. So whatever, whatnot. OK, it, my source is right down the bottom. Just go look that up. All right. So. Let's continue. When you get divorced, there are two types of support payments. One of them is called child support. Calculating child support is based not only on the difference in income, but also on who gets the most time with the kids. Are you going to have your kid 86% of the time, like in a sole custody situation, or only 50% of the time, as in a shared custody situation? There's a lot of money at stake for, for both the high earner and the lesser earner. But let's say time goes by and you don't make as much money as you used to, or you want to spend more time with your kids. It's very difficult to get child support modified downward. And if you live in a major city, the wages are high, the cost of living is high, and the person who gets primary custody of the kids will realize, hey, I can move out of the city, my expenses will be far less, but I'll still keep getting that high child support amount based on the parent who's left behind in the major city. And time and again, very often, the parent who's left behind in the major city, they'll go to the court and say, hey, look, 
I love my child. I want to be with my child. I'm going to give up my good paying job in the city to go move to this small town so I can be with my child more. And all I want you to do, Your Honor, is just respect the fact that, of course, I can't make as much income living in this little town as I could living in Los Angeles or San Francisco or a major city. And the vast majority of the time, the judge will say, tough luck. Well, it's difficult to adjust to somebody who wants to, you know, who for years has maintained this level of earning based on the commitment of time, to now say, well, I'm going to diminish my hours so I can spend more time with this child. If he really and truly wanted to spend more time with the child, is very admirable. But is he taking a pay cut that makes this unrealistic? These people end up racking up a big child support debt. A lot of states have interest on the debt. Sometimes that interest is as high as 10 or 12 percent. And the person ends up saddled with a debt that they can no longer pay. People are being put in jail for not having the ability to pay their child support. Like I said, y'all, get an understanding of this. Um, I wanted y'all to see that, and this is something that Chris Rock should have seen, because women don't really care, especially black women. And if his wife that he's divorcing um, is not the antithesis of this, probably jack that word up, I don't know what is. All right, I want you to read this statement um, and read down, I'm going to read the whole thing. There was no beef with Chris Rock giving her spousal support and child support for the for his two girls whom he loved and you know he is really there for. His problem is his wife because of her philanthropic uh, philanthropic activities decided to adopt the child from another country. Now she wants Chris Rock to pay child support for that child too. Oh, and it gets better. The adoption isn't even all the way finished. The doc the adoption isn't even complete. So she wants Chris Rock to pay alimony. She wants half his wealth. All right, she wants to keep her wealth, but she wants her wealth half of his wealth she wants him to pay child support for his girls which he don't have a problem with but then she wants him to pay child support for a child that's not his whom it was a decision that she made to bring into the family and because that was his wife he went along with it and now she wants him to pay for her decision this is how evil these black women are this is how evil this black woman is all right and she still wants to live better than chris rock because that's what she can do with the money she's making oh and this is the educated black woman all right and educated black woman this is why nobody nobody in their right mind would want you because this is the kind of mess you pull there is nothing good about you nothing because this is evil and I don't, I don't mean all of you. I mean a good 70, 80, 90 percent of you. Because remember, that divorce rate was 70 percent. And we were only talking about final divorces. We were not talking about legal separation. And we were not talking about regular separation. All right, YouTube, here's my final thoughts. You know what this is, right? This is the okie doke followed by crack of food. All right, and so we must defend this with, um, defeat this with intellectual kung fu. So my final thoughts are this. The very mentality of the so-called educated black women in our community, the black community, um, as a whole, is evil towards good black men. Period. They're making their 50, 59% of them have multiple babies 
um, from multiple babies' daddies. 59%, that's most of them. These so-called educated, independent, I don't need no man, black woman, right? They got most of their education by manipulating the system the same way they manipulate men. Men have too much risk to um, marry a woman. Men need to get back to the Bible where he takes a wife. All right. And when I say take a wife, meaning that you observe the woman to make sure she ha is wife material and then you take her to be your wife. Period. You don't marry no woman because you don't know if you get wife material or 70 percent of the times you're getting somebody that's going to use you for five years, divorce you and take your children, all your money, all your wealth and, and try to beat you down the rest of your life. Or for the next 18 years. And manipulate your children against you and your seed, your seed. And take full control and warp the, your seed in most cases to hate you. All right. These black women, they have evil and manipulative hearts. They can't possibly know what good is. They don't know what God is. They follow Christianity because Christianity gives you a path. Why? Because all you got to do is pray to white Jesus and he'll make everything good. You don't ever have to atone for anything that you do. You could treat people bad, live off the fruits of the evil that you've created, and then be like, oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. Now I feel like I can go to heaven now. Oh, when you're on your dying bed, I, I have to believe that the Most High understands um, that he'll make you understand that that mess ain't working. Right? So black men, this is a warning. You don't marry anyone. You take a wife. When you take a wife, you better make dang sure she's wife material. All these women saying she wife material, if she has any children, all right, that's strike one against wife material. All right. If she's raising children by herself and getting child support from another man, then she's not wife material. Why? Because she's dependent on the, um, the child's father for substance and so long as that man is paying her child support legally under the bible biblical laws you cannot marry that woman because she has a husband the only time you can marry a woman is if she's not collecting child support or if she had a child but she let the father raise the children then and the, only then is she free but as soon as she go to court, as soon as a black woman, any woman, go to court and ask for child support from a man, then they are doomed to be single. And any man that screws that woman is guilty of adultery, basically, biblically, is because she has a husband. By definition, husband is one that takes care of a, a, a wife and see, like, that's not my husband. Well, are you getting money from them? Well, yeah, it's called child support. Then you're getting money from them. Well, that's the state. No, that's you. You decided to go there and you made the choice that you wanted that money and you told the state, yes, I want child support. Because um, basically, if a woman don't want child support from the state, she could just be like, I don't want child support. I got this. Me and, me and my um, son or daughter's father will take, we got this financial thing. We'll take care of it. All right, that's the only free woman. If a woman is um, getting child support, all right, she is, she has a husband. If she's getting child support from multiple men, then the Most High considers that adultery. And this is a woman that should have been put to death with stone. Biblically, if we're going to follow the commandments. But as we know, in the United States, we don't follow the commandments. We follow the ways that white people use to destroy black men. With that said, I'm out.